thanks for watching. So, I know this channel is made for books, but I wanted to share one of my parallel obsessions, uh, which is music. And um, I can talk about music almost as much as I can talk about books, if not more. I am absolutely not myself without music. Um, and I know a lot of people say that they can't have music on while they're reading. I am not one of those people I can have, I can have music on while I'm reading. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from any well-known or mainstream um, singers, songwriters, um, bands, composers. Um, I want to share some of the lesser known artists that are near and dear to my heart. Um, I've been juggling whether or not I want to make this video for a while, um, but there is a band that made up my mind. I ran across them recently. They're called Oceans of Slumber. Um, now, usually I can find obscure singers and bands on YouTube if I go down enough rabbit holes, which is really easy to do on YouTube, um, but someone actually mentioned Oceans of Slumber on a on the, in the comments section on a Fire from the Gods song, and I decided to go check them out um, because I loved the name, <laughs> and it was it was as simple as that. Um, so the first song I listened to was Lullaby, and oh my god, it gave me goosebumps on my fucking brain, and then I melted, <laughs> and I'm absolutely in love with the singer's voice. Um, I had to listen to more, and then I ended up listening to them all day long. <laughs> Um, I think my favorite song is Suffer the Bridge. I've been listening to that almost every day since I heard it. Um, but I can hear, I can hear the singer. Her name is Cammie. I can hear her voice in my belly. Um, and there's, there's so many good songs. And she does do some covers. Um, she did a cover of Strange Fruit, um, which is a really dark song. But go listen to it. I know if you, if you know what Strange Fruit is, if you've heard the song before, you're probably thinking, okay, well, nobody can do a cover of Strange Fruit and do it well, but Cammie does it, and she nails it, and it is haunting. Um, so the lead singer, I've seen her go by Cammie Gilbert and also um, Cammie Beverly, um, and then I've also seen her, I think, go by Cammie Gilbert Beverly or Cammie Beverly Gilbert, Cammie Beverly Gilbert, one of them. Um, she's, she's listed on her both names, but she's done actually some appearances with some other bands. She did a song with um, Arion, Hopelessly Slipping Away. She did a song with Mercury Circle um, called Like Matches. Um, okay, the video is not going to be completely about <laughs> Oceans of Slumber, I promise. Okay, um, so Tiger Army. I honestly don't know how I came across these guys. Um, like I said, I go down a lot of YouTube rabbit holes. That's probably how I ran across them. And I ran across them recently. I just can't for the life of me um, remember how I found them. Um, but to really get a feel for who they are, the first song you need to listen to is A Dark and Lonely Night. Um, they're like the greatest 50s comeback, like rockabilly comeback band that we didn't know we needed. Um, and they are described as psychobilly which is a term I hadn't run across until I, I ran across them. Um, and Dark and Lonely Night may be what lured me into listening to more of their music, but I absolutely adore Mi Amor La Luna. Um, that just absolutely solidified them in my in my jukebox mind. Um, Bruna, Bruneville, 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 Bruneville. I found him because of my obsession with instrumentals, um, symphonies, modern composers. Um, I used to play the violin a long, long time ago. I used to play the violin. I quit when I was in middle school, and I've never regretted, I don't think I've, I regret anything in my entire life of four plus decades, um, as much as I regret not sticking with the violin. <laughs> um, but anyways, he's a composer from Portugal. Um, his songs are fantastic, fantastical magical. Um, they're haunting, they're stirring. My favorite song is Song of the North, hands down. My favorite song by him is Song of the North. I've listened to that on repeat when I'm studying, when I'm reading. Um, to me, 
it's probably one of my favorite instrumentals period um, but he does have things other than instrumentals he has some music that has that have vocals by a singer named Charm I'm not familiar with her other than her work with Brenneville um, but I also love Nocturne and Winter Wolf those are both instrumentals I believe um, there are songs that you can put on in the background while you're cleaning, studying, reading, um, whatever. In the same vein as Brenneville is Adrian von Ziegler. Um, he is a composer from Switzerland. And one of the more interesting pieces, in my opinion, is Twisted, um, which I think could have... You could put it on repeat if you're listening to a horror novel. It's like psycho-symphonic carnival music. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, um, but he's phenomenal. Um, he does a lot of fantasy inspired um, or inspiring music, um, but he has some creepy ones in there also, like Twisted. Um, and then you got some pagan metal um, with Gleipnir, um, but he is the eclectic instrumentalist that you are looking for, so go give him a listen. Ignea. So I ran across this Ukrainian band because they were listed somewhere as symphonic metal, and I imagine that if you listen to Alga, as I did, um, as the first song that you listened to by them, then I suppose that yes, you could categorize them as symphonic metal. <laughs> However, outside of the song Alga, they're really not. They're a lot heavier than that. They're heavier than most of the stuff that I listen to, um, but they are really good, and I and after I listened to Alga and I listened to a couple more of their songs, I, I kind of grew an affinity for them. They're, they're really great. I like them. In fact, I joined their Patreon. <laughs> um, they're, they're great. Um, Charlotte Wessels. Now, Charlotte Wessels is maybe an exception to this, um, the rule of my list of, of no mainstream singers and bands. But Charlotte Wessels gained notoriety with the band Delane. Um, they sing Came, Come Closer, April Rain. Um, they're a phenomenal band, and April Wessels is a phenomenal singer, but she's no longer with them. They have a new singer. I don't know who that is. Um, but she's on a solo venture now, and she recently re released the song Chasing Sunsets, and I'm liking it. The video harkens to mythology immensely, so if you get a chance, go listen to the song and kind of go back through Charlotte Wessels' career. She is a phenomenal singer. Gray. So <laughs> it is spelled G R A I on YouTube, and I have been pronouncing it as Gray until I started doing some research for this video. <laughs> then I found out that it's actually pronounced Gray. They're a Russian band, um, and their song In the Arms of Mary, it doesn't, I don't think it shows up on YouTube as In the Arms of Mary. It has Russian writing on it, and I didn't know what they said but the song itself is haunting like it's beautiful it's beautiful they're like they look like vikings um <laughs> but it's it's incredible music it's led by a female singer or two female singers and it's 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 incredible go go give them a listen so this next one you if you're if you're a youtuber you may know this person his name is james fetcho um he's been around for a minute. He's a huge booktube fan and an integral part of booktube. Um, so I want to give him a shout out here. He writes his own music. He's a, he's a guitar player. He writes his own music and a lot of it is inspired by the books that he's read. Um, so books, characters, series, etc. Um, I love just putting his, his YouTube videos on while I'm cleaning. Um, sometimes even while I'm reading, um, if I'm, if I happen to be reading a book that he has based a song off of, um, and with songs like Star Lily and The Night of Bitter Sweetness, which is based on David Gemmell's book, Into the Shadows, um, you, you have to go check him out. He's, he's great. Um, Consumed by Fire. Now, this is a Christian band. I do listen to a lot of Christian music. I listen to Caleb. I listen to The River. Um, Google says they started in 2010. I had not heard about them until they blew up with the song First Things First in, in, in 2023. Now, it was played to death on Christian radio. It was played to death in church. Um, I, I, I do like the song. I'm not saying anything bad about the song. I do love the song. But what hooked me to this band 
was the next song that the radio is now playing to death, <laughs> um, which is Walk With Jesus. Now, if you grew up in the church, um, if you are older than probably 30 or 35 and grew up in the church, then you probably, you have those hymns that just stuck with you because you, you sang them on Sundays and they were um, hopefully fond memories of spending time with your family and your church family and fellowship, hopefully. Um, and there's, you're, you'll likely remember an old hymn, I Have Decided. And it goes, though none go with me, I still will follow. And the version that plays on the radio starts with what sounds like an old version of that hymn at the very beginning. And that was what immediately drew me in. And then the rest of the song is phenomenal. I absolutely, I love that song. So um, it's a beautiful nod to those, those hymns of, of a time past. Um, Leah. So, okay, I'm pretty sure I ran across her from a rabbit hole, but I've, I have no idea. She did a cover of that most famous nerdy gamer fantasy song, The Dragonborn Comes, which I believe is from Skyrim. Um, I, when I heard it, I just absolutely fell in love with her style. Um, I think I discovered her in the winter of 2019. Um, and I spent the rest of the winter, Alexa, play songs by Leah. <laughs> um, and she's phenomenal. Um, she has a song called This Present Darkness. It's beautiful. I don't know really how to describe her. Um, gamer core, fantasy, Celtic, symphonic metal, maybe? I don't know. Javier Navarrete. Now, I don't understand how he doesn't have more of a following because he is a phenomenal composer and he composed the scores for Pan's Labyrinth and I think Requiem for a Dream um, and Ink Heart. Um, his music is like silver tongue from Ink Heart. It can write you into another story. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you've watched Pan's Labyrinth and you know how haunting that music is and you just you have to go check out Javier uh, uh, Javier Navarrete. He has um, he has a YouTube channel and, and his scores are posted there um, based off of the different movies, I think, and it's just, it's incredible. Um, Scarlet Riot. Okay, <laughs> so, um, I don't remember how I ran into this, this one again. This is another one of those bands, I don't remember how I found them. Um, but their song Feel floored me, and it choked me up pretty effectively. Okay, I was bawling. Um, they're a British rock band, and their song Chloe Scarlet Drinkwater's Voice She's, she's just so powerful. When you see her before she opens her mouth, you're like, okay, maybe it'll be good. And then she opens your mouth and you're like, jaw drop, <laughs> like jaw, fall off your face onto the floor and roll away drop. Um, Underwater showcases her rougher edges um, and Lullaby is um, another one like Feel that will stomp your tender heart into the ground until you're blubbering tears into your, into your pillow. Um, speaking about blubbering tears into your pillow, okay. So, one of the things they don't tell you when you let your child get a rodent as a pet is that it will change you in ways that you don't expect. So, my son JJ has had his hamster for over a year and a half now. Um, he's like, when we got him, we weren't expecting him to last more than a couple months, honestly. Um, and then he lasted six months, and then he lasted a year, and then he lasted a year and a half. Um, and he started to turn brown, which, according to my son, means, like, that's like going gray as a, as a human. So when they when they turn brown, it means they're really old. And I love Hammy. <laughs> I spoil Hammy. They say I spoil Hammy more than the dogs, which may or may not be true. Um, I love Hammy so much. Um, but I hate... I hate mice running around my house and leaving their little mice droppings everywhere, especially when they get into my drawers and I have to pull out my utensils and the utensil holder and wash everything all over again um, and make sure that it's um, got like antibiotic on it because I don't want the mouse stuff like on the utensils that my children are going to put into their mouth. It drives me nuts. And so in the past, my normal go-to is to put out poison and to put out sticky drops. Um, well, I caught a mouse a couple weeks ago in a sticky trap, and I'm not going to cry. I caught a mouse in a sticky trap, and when I opened the drawer and saw the mouse, for half a second I thought it was hammy, and 
I apologized to the mouse like 80 times. Um, I couldn't get the mouse off of the trap and I had to, um, I had to dispose of the mouse and then I cried for like half an hour and thank God my children were asleep because I swear I was like losing it. I kept apologizing to the mouse even after it was gone and crying while I was doing dishes. Oh my God. It was, a, it was a terrible mess. Well then yesterday, John and I went out, um, we're looking for a part for our neighbor's lawnmower cause her, her lawnmower, um, the left side went out and so it's just going in circles, but John knows how to fix these things. So, um, she asked him for help. And when we were on our way back, John goes, look at that groundhog. And I look over and on the shoulder, um, there's a groundhog. Now his back, his legs were like spread straight behind him and his back was on the ground and he had his front paws kind of lifting him up and his head up. I go, oh my God, his back is broken. And then I cried the rest of the way home. And then when I was retelling the story, I started crying again. <laughs> and these are the things that they don't tell you when you, I don't know, how did I get into this story? Oh, because I was talking about crying. I don't know how this happened. We got hammy and all of a sudden, like, I can't, I can't with any, with any rodents dying. I cannot. So I guess the mice are going to just have a field day in my house and I'll just keep washing things over and over again. Whatever. Um, trees of eternity. So this is another one. I don't know how I, fa Oh wait, no, I do remember how I found them. It was on music map. I went to music map. It's one of those things where you can enter in a band and it'll like explode with like similar singer songwriters and bands um, that are close to them. I don't think that they're exactly comparable to oceans of slumber, but I do really like them. Um, Choose of Eternity was on the music map. Um, let me see. Do you so? Oh, go listen to Hour of the Nightingale. So if you want to start somewhere with Trees of Eternity, listen to Hour of the Nightingale. Cold Haven. I ran across them also fairly recently. Um, I can't find anything older than a year on YouTube from them. Um, they seem to be relatively new, but I am really liking what I've heard from them. So I hope they keep making more music. Um, sea of Memories seems to be their most popular song and I also like it and there's not very many songs to choose from but I'm gonna give them a listen maybe if they have more people listening to their music they won't stop making music um, and then finally Black Hill now this is another song I found on music map but I can't remember what I put into music map to find them because it's been a couple years um, Black Hill is a musical project of Sar Sarnogursky it's fun. I bet you that and I'm so sorry. Um, he's a guitarist from Gyor, Hungary. Hungary. Um, he has starring instrumentals. They are absolutely flooring. Um, I recommend The Darkness is Watching You, um, Whispering Woods, and Creatures of Light. Um, but really all of, all of his stuff is phenomenal. Um, it is another one of those things that I will put on and I'll study or I'll read or I'll clean. Um, so those are the ones that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope that you'll give them all a listen. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe below.